Hello everybody, this is Cat. I'm doing a playthrough of my own video game. Some people might consider that egotistical. Those people would be correct. But hey, developer commentary, so... I guess I can put that on the box, make it seem less stupid. Oh yeah, so... If you're seeing this channel somehow without being on the Ben 10 fanfiction wiki, you're not going to understand one bit of this. At all. Oh yeah, if you've noticed something interesting about my dialogue, it's that I am not going to be a good person in this game. I mean, I'm not a good person in real life anyways, but I'm going to be even worse in this game. I'm going to be a royal pain. And you have no idea how many times I've had to sit through this opening sequence playtesting the game. Okay. We're off. So... What do I even say about this? Um, the center looks like the Omnitrix symbol. Uh, I guess that's something I did. Yeah, so, the achievements room is over there, uh, we're not really going to get into that until later. So, let's go to hell. Uh, for the record, um, that was just a joke. We're going to hell later in the game, so, just wait. Okay, so, there are a bunch of, like, random pillars and coffins around here. And okay, this is where we need to go, but hold on a sec, because you might notice that these three statues are the only ones arranged like this. And that's because I used these three for an easter egg that everyone might not notice. Basically, just, um... Little sayings about... Obituaries, that's what they're called. Obituary memorials for past users, and it's in-jokes. If you don't know these users, you won't get it. And I'm not explaining t it to you, because that would make it not funny. Okay, so this text backwards is literally just, Wake up, you lazy butthole. Not sure if anyone noticed that, or really cared to notice that, because it's not that much worth noticing. And, um, okay, now we have TJ, who I never really knew on the wiki, so I wrote no dialogue for him. Let's see, who do I want in my party? Um, I think I'll swap out... Mm, nah... Maybe I'll swap out Toon for the moment with... Eh, uh, TJ. And I decided to give TJ, uh, the Slenderman transformation, because, you know, well, I guess you don't know, it's like, just sort of fit the dark, undead theme, you know? Also, the last couple areas are not a breeze to clear, unless you've leveled a lot. So, that was pretty much a lie. And the background for this area, Tech 10 Rebooted, with my series, um, is actually a piece I composed for the series, took from the soundtrack. And that's... 
that's just a little something I put in because that is legitimately how the entrance works in real life. Hey, here's um first battle with some desert scorpions. We do not have any of our special moves yet, other than just transforming, so we'll do that. You know, maybe I shouldn't have kept um, Mixter on the team this dad until he leveled up a bit more. He was, um, isn't very useful at the moment. I guess I'll just confuse these guys. Let's see. Flight 2. Let's see. He's recovery on the team. Darkness. Okay, so it was really only the most useful sailing of all time that needed it. And there we go, and... Uh, yeah, the sprites. Um, I had to make them myself. I've never made sprites before. I think it shows. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Actually, I'll just use Needle Smash for how much of that's needed. Actually, something I designed, uh, a strategy I designed the game for, um, Blight has madness by default, because, you know, it's Blight. So, I actually, but if you use Vaccine's Cure ability, it cures status ailments. And since madness is counted as a status ail ailment in this game, boom! Now you have Blight. Completely under your control. Whoops. Not me to do that. Actually, I'll just take the opportunity to transform vaccine. Yeah, so I have a uh, game set to share experience with the people not in battle, which is pretty much the only way to, like, well, not the only way, but the best way to level up um, people you don't have transformed. Let's use that, and now we have Exceedance in, in his Gestalt form, which this is the most useful. Ooh, spiders! See, what should I use? And life drain should work. Oh yeah, um, you only have certain amounts of magic to use, and I used all of it. So, not my brightest move. I'll just attack. I'm just gonna head into the. Or, I guess I'm going to do this. And there we go. Now I'm going to head into the pyramid. I have no idea why I put that joke in the game, it annoys me so much in real life. So, this is meant to introduce you to the Forever Night Squadrons. 
Which I'm not sure why, because really no other anything gets an introduction like this in the game other than bosses. So, I don't know. Sort of something. And now we can enter the pyramid. Okay, here we go. Honestly, with the encounter rates in this game, the RNG, sometimes you'll encounter a lot of enemies, sometimes you'll encounter very few enemies, even though the encounter rate is set to a specific base for the entire game. Zippered by the Italian Fashion Mafia. Yeah, um... Some of you will know what that's a reference to. Most people won't. There you go, that's like TJ's one line of dialogue in the entire game after his introduction. And now we can explore! And uh, this is where I'm gonna show you some secrets. Yeah, that was, like, the one use I could think of for the most useless alien's ability. Just confusing opponents, because... I mean, if you saw an alien predict that, wouldn't you be confused? Yeah, um... Ancient Eden is not like, displayed very favorably in most media. I'm not just gonna, I'm just not gonna deal with that today. And moving on, there's a second little Easter egg sort of thing. Yeah, um, might not might have noticed a couple of uh, internet references already. I that never really stops, so, um, I really could have just called this game The Quest for Dank Memes. And really, it just would have been about the exact same. Well, that didn't work. And here's the most important secret- Dang it! No, screw this, I'm done. The most important secret of the pyramid. And for those of you more familiar with the lore of the most useless alien of all time, you know that equipping him with a top hat lets him use the top hat beam. Which basically just a super powerful attack. For demonstration, if the scorpion survived long enough for it to be demonstrated, and I drained the mana, I really need to watch that more carefully. There we go.
I'm just gonna go to heal. Yeah, um... After I heal, I'm just gonna go fight the first boss, because... If you know what strategies to use, you don't really have to level up the aliens much. At all, really. More scorpions. Which, it's kind of funny, because in real life, the bigger scorpions are, like, the less you should be afraid of them, because they're probably gonna have really weak poison, and you can just kinda see them coming and run away. Like that. Oh yeah, so this these tests appear on every level, so when we get to them, if you want to play this game for yourself and not have the answer spoiled for you, just kind of close your eyes, plug your ears, take off your headphones, throw your computer out the window. I mean, you probably do have done that anyway at this point, because my commentary is horrible, but, you know, just just in case you haven't. Oh yeah, for anyone wondering how to pronounce this, it's pronounced Bex Pixawala Nukes Away. You have no idea how difficult it was to... Okay, you probably have some idea how difficult it was to learn how to pronounce that. Nope. I'm not here to fight scorpions, I'm here on my quest to discover dank memes! Okay. Time to fight the boss. Alrighty. Uh, top hat beam. Let's see, Saint. Fire! Paralyze, because that's like the only thing that's gonna get us through this. And possession! Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. Hold on, did I paralyze him already? Yes, I did. Which means life drain should be... Wait a second. I'll just bring back... Bring back Blight. I'm not sure why that doesn't have an animation. It's just... Something... Weird with the game. Let's see, heal blight, get him up to full. Oh sweet, didn't even notice that I burned him. Sorry, but you're about to lose. So yeah, this boss fight is pretty easy if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, he's gonna kick your butt, but since I know what I'm doing, well, there you go. Bye bye. Okay, if you couldn't read that, he says, In this game, you will remain until your 
time comes to burn or something like that. The evil that awaits for you will never let you return. And that is gone. Just plain gone. So yeah, um, nothing ominous about that. And I think that's a good place to end it here. I'll just save, and, um, see you in the next video, if there is one. Maybe, maybe not.